music is a fantastically overwhelming universe. And within that vastness, there are those who prefer to dwell within a few distinct territories. And then there are those who are explorers, always curious to learn more within the realm of sound, eager for challenges of the unknown, mature enough to experience the world through the eyes of a curious child living in a confusing, yet amazing world of possibilities, floating in the great area of what's right and what's wrong, not breaking rules to be rebellious or edgy, but doing it merely to see what might happen. An adult scientist is a kid who never grew up. The same can be said about certain adventurous musicians. Those who live to learn about all music and sounds from around the world and beyond. Those who persistently challenge themselves, their intellects, and their imaginations. It's this kind of unbound creative investigation into the unknown that lies in all true experimental music. <laughs> Music. What is it? Well, first, let's start with what it isn't. Contrary to popular belief, it's not all harsh, dissident, self-indulged, masturbatory, noise, non-musical, structuralist, overly complex, overly stupid, hot noises. <laughs> Though, actually, yeah, some of it is. That weird, pretentious music. Though, many of us have accepted that Anything which deviates convention is an easy target for undeserved ridicule. It's POMO! Postmodern! Yeah, alright, weird for the sake of weird. Oh. oh! Now, let's forget about all of that and get comfortable. Close your eyes and imagine what do you hear in your head when you think of experimental music? Can you hear it? Do you like what you hear? How can you put it into words? Now, erase that and try to imagine completely different music that could also be identified as experimental. What does this one sound like? So, uh, what is it? I love how the definition will drastically change from one person to the next. That's part of the fun, right? Personally, when defining this particular music, I take the word experimental literally. To carry out an experiment, and nothing more. As John Cage put it, an experimental action is one the outcome of which is not foreseen. Or in my words, to intentionally challenge oneself musically without knowing what the majority of the outcome will be. Experimenting can be developed into a skill, and some people dedicate their lives to experimenting with music and sound. They get better and make a craft out of it. Their music is usually extremely unique and thought-provoking, though they are a rare breed. They even inspire non-experimenting musicians who might borrow these fresh ideas. A lot of the music we hear today was, about 20 years ago, nothing more than musical experiments performed by unknown composers and musicians. The elements of experimental music of the past morphed its way into digestible music in a time that's ready to accept it. It happens every generation in all arts. Experimentation lives in the shadow of popular music. As we progress, so will our arts and music. In the process, we yearn for new things. We need people to come up with them, to not be afraid of the unforeseen outcome.
Leaving time in your day to experiment with music and try new things is extremely important, both musically and creatively. I'd recommend adding it to your routine to intentionally attempt new things, things that might seem impossible, silly, even stupid. And not only when you play around with the effects of that new music software you just got. Some people are more experimental by nature, not only in music, but in life. They're spontaneous, always trying new things and interested in playing with the rules. Uh, you don't have to always be trying to invent the wheel, so to speak, but at least try to creatively surprise yourself. Of course, many prefer to stay on the safe side, play the songs they know and love, or write songs that sound like those things, which is all fine. But if you have this itch that pushes you to lean over the edge and try something that's a little bit different, or to have that search, that sense of adventure, then that's where experimenting can come in. Personally, I wouldn't claim experimental music to be grand or innovative. In fact, it's usually just personal. All right, well, why don't you take some time throughout your days and experiment with some new ideas? You know, don't be shy about it. Uh, you don't have to share this stuff with the world or, or anything like that, right? And I would love to hear your definition of experimental music. So please don't forget to do the comments subscribe, the like, and see you next time at Not Right Music.